Uh -huh. Thank you. I will start again because it is very important info and I want someone to know about this. The time when I was an irreplaceable piece of my heart. As I mentioned earlier, I was raised by elderly people. I was not raised in a normal way. I was raised by my grandparents from my mother's side. The devil and I. And because I was raised by them, I understand how to enjoy spending time with all people. And I had a friend. His name is Mo. He had three sisters. One of them was younger than me, and the other two are older than me. And he's, to be honest, one of my best friends. He even was the person who testified <coughs> on my marriage. We went to the front of the judge, and I said, My name is Alex. I'm married. I will be married to this person. Kabula, I do. And two persons behind me. One of them was Mo. And the reason I chose him because when I used to go to Mo's home, I used to enjoy speaking with him, with his sisters, with his mother, or with his late father, Allah knows. Mr. Sadiq, he was in the same age as my late father. So sometimes I feel like I'm talking to my father. He was an amazing person. And guess Unun Maslekne, what was his profession? Guess. No. He was a pilot. And he traveled all over the world. He can speak French. He can speak English. And other language. When I was in that home, and I say home, not a house, because I consider his house as the same as my home. I feel I am at my home. They are my sisters. She is my mother. He is my father. And Mo was simply my brother. Even if Mo's isn't at home, I would go there and have a chat with his mother or his father for hours. They enjoyed my company and I enjoyed their company. Even when his mother, even when his mother traveled to other country, when she came back, she bring like two shirts, one from Mo, one for Mo, and the other for me. And they are the same, subject of the rank, only with different colors. However, Mr. Sadiq died because of cancer. The person who I enjoyed most of my time, who I had breakfast with, died. And Mo was really devastated. Even when we went to bury him, Mo couldn't, couldn't see that. Couldn't see that. And he stand outside of the private section that they bought to be as a graveyard. It was me who went inside and take him and put him there. This person was an amazing person. I'm not related to him, but at every single sunny second, I feel that I was with my family and I was talking to my father. That person, I really respect and of course I really miss. And when I lost him, I lost and irreplaceable part of my heart. Mm -hmm. Or next to your listeners, for a